Aaron, you've talked a lot about this lineup and the damage they can do. That second inning, just an example of how they wear down pitchers? <clears throat> yeah, no question. Uh, you know, I th think we, we got some breaks in that inning and, and took advantage of them. And, uh, you know, to be able to run out on a, a big lead today on a hot day when, you know, I think it was a challenge for everyone, pitchers, hitters. Um, it was important. And, uh, yeah, just, just another lot of contributions up and down again. With all the power you have in the lineup, kind of remarkable that the runs were not scored via the home run? <laughs> um, yeah, I thought... I, I wasn't sure, but I thought it was like, I don't think we've hit a homer today to have that many runs. Um, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> again, I think it's just a tribute to, to guys having quality at bats and up and down the lineup today to where we were, you know, able to take advantage of a couple breaks and, and really, you know, and had some opportunities even to, to score some more, but just just good quality up and down today on a hot day. Scary moment for Luke Voigt. They said the concussion protocol came back clear, but are you still worried about him being a player tomorrow? <laughs> um, not really. I, you know, I actually felt pretty good about him even. I mean, we took him out just, you know, obviously that's scary right there, but felt like he was even pretty good um, before before we took him out. Um, and then going through the tests obviously was fine and and speaking to him right after um feel like he should be okay ron on the front row mm -hmm. where did they get him right on the cheekbone yeah i think that the chin i haven't seen the replay yet but when i went out there you know i had the, you know, a little bit of a cut lip from it but okay and in the first five innings what was tanaka doing so well to get that many soft grounders especially yeah. to the right side we had a really good split today i thought and uh you know as well as mixing obviously slider and, and fastball and then his split flattened out in that final inning um arenado got him on the split that turned into more of a two-seam fastball up and out over the plate um so I think he just kind of lost his split there, the bite on that pitch. But I thought up until that point, I thought it was a really good pitch for him today. Is, is, is that odd that he lost it that quickly? Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, it's been one of those things for him this year that, you know, whether it's been within a game or start to start um, where he has searched for it, um, you know, having it real consistent for him but i you know and, and also the the day could have contributed to it a little bit just a lot of long innings on the other side in the first half of the game um obviously you know the heat and everything so hard to say exactly left side dan is judge okay yeah aaron's okay just chose to get him out of there um you know playing the double header day game after the night game this heat uh with the lead, I would just felt like it was it was a good thing to do. And when they they rallied, did you have any second thoughts about that when it started to look like more of a game? No, I mean no. I mean we need to protect the nine nothing lead, and you know we got good players sitting over there too that go in to replace. So uh, I thought there was a lot of value in getting him out of there today. Far right, Eric. Aaron, we've asked you a lot about Lemayhu at the plate this year. What about him in the field has impressed you most this season? Um, well, the versatility, having not done it, obviously, in the big leagues. I mean, you saw some special plays at first today. Um, a really good play to start things off down at third. Um, you know, and the, and just the, the comfort and the flexibility of having, you know, you know, obviously, we remove Luke today, and it's like, all right, Gio's our backup infielder today, and he's in there. It's like... We got DJ that we can plug and play everywhere, and wherever he goes, um, you know, he plays it like a gold glover and, and some really, really special plays today. Left front row, Roger. Just about the timing of, of when Tanaka's splitter started to flatten out. I, I mean, I can't imagine that given the number of pitches he'd thrown, you were considering getting somebody up during that inning. Did it happen pretty quickly, and can you tell if he's going to get it back when it does? Right. I, I, sometimes he can, certainly. But I thought they started to see it well, started to take it. You know, it just didn't look like it had the same bite on it. Um, you know, sometimes maybe you can find it within that because it wasn't a heavy workload to that point. But then, you know, that inning really started to wear him down, and I think that did play a factor. You know, he was up over 30 pitches in that inning in that heat. So, you know, I, I, I do think it got to be a little bit less crisp there. Dave, 
Aaron, when you went out to talk to Voight, was, was he uh, was he dazed or shaken up or anything? Look, at he had a little blood, or his lip was yeah, yeah, falling up a little. Cut his lip a little bit, so he had a little bit of blood. He no, he, and and I'm not the doctors, obviously, so I don't want to. But no, right away he seemed fine to me.